Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 here, bringing you guys game number six of season two of my Madden Ultimate Team. And um, before we get starting into the gameplay and some extra information, remember, guys, I picked up Marcel Darius for my team. So this, that guy's gonna be on the, you know, on the spotlight. This guy is gonna for sure penetrate that old line like nothing. I'm expecting sacks from Marcel Darius. Um, also. Uh, there's several players in the hot seat, alright? There's several players after what I've played here. You know, I'm pretty much noticing that uh, a lot of players need to be changed. One of the players that I want to mention, Ike Taylor. Yet again, he got beat with speed. And he's in zone. And I'm like, you know, we need somebody up there who has more speed. Because Brandon Browner, you know, he's pretty darn slow. But he can jump, man. So you can't throw over him. Ike Taylor, he is kind of slow. And I'm thinking like of getting the Mo Dominic Rogers Camardi. I'll be making a video pretty soon once I get my 24K. And, um... We should be able to get him pretty soon because he, he's also six foot two. Uh, another guy that's on the hot team, my defensive end, Brian Robinson. That guy uh, did do a clutch sack uh, later on in the game, and uh, but there was this one play where he actually, you know, he got broken tackled by the freaking quarterback, and I was like, God damn it, it's 319. You allowed this guy to get a first down, and uh, that play won't show here though. I actually didn't have enough, you know, space, so I took that play off. But uh, yeah, he missed the sack. Also, another guy who's on the hot seat is Eric Decker. He dropped the most important pass. You should see that in the third quarter or something. I think right out in the second quarter. Uh, but yeah, like there was there was some few people in the hot seat also, and my left guard who still needs to get replaced. Uh, my offensive strategy in this game, guys, is pretty much power running. Just power running because I know I was gonna have trouble passing the ball. And as you can see here, I know triangle was open. Yeah, there was gonna be some few mistakes. I'm a little bit rusted since I came from a run, and I was like, you know what? Let me warm up and delete solo challenge, and that's what it, that's what I did. And I only warmed up with one game, so I, I was really like a little bit off my off game because I usually just warm up with two to three games before I play a regular season game because. Um, you, it's good to warm up. You, it's good to know your own plays before you play. So, uh, see, so yeah, that's why I messed up a few times. Right here, I don't understand how my freaking tight end couldn't hold that guy. That's why he stopped me right there in the goal line. The defense he was using was just cover three most of the time. That's why I kind of struggled throwing the flat sometimes. So, yeah, he was going five wide. That screen was lucky as hell. I don't know how the hell he pulled it off. There was some several misses on uh, my defense, you know. I had him on zone coverage, and yet, you know, he still got it. Brandon Browner with the magical interception right there. I don't know how he did it, man. <laughs> that guy has long arms. <laughs> I don't know. He was like around 20 feet away, and then he just freaking stretched in there like a freaking, you know, gummy bear or something. Like, that guy stretched in. So right there was the Eric Decker drop, and I'm like, dude, I have you as a possession receiver. You're supposed to catch those. I thought he was strong in catching, but apparently not. So he's going to get replaced soon with somebody else. I don't know who. Um, but I, I'll be, you know, talking about it along the way. And um, I ended up stopping the guy. 7-6 to six to score, man. God damn it. I need to step it up. Offense is doing pretty good in the run. I uh, didn't struggle that much. There was a few struggles here and there, but it was not major. It was just a small tackle. I'm like, all right, let me get you with something else. Just trick him the hell out of him. That's all I did. I called in shotgun, single back, eye formation, pistol. I called him all my favorite runs. I'm telling you, my freaking Colts offensive playbook is just filled in with runs. And that's what it's getting me out down the field. That's why I'm running with ground and pound style. And T.Y. Hilton open like always on this play. I love this play. I like when T.Y. Hilton is open right there. And another run out of the single back. Doug Martin down the middle. This guy, I mean, I'm telling you, this, this freaking style is amazing. I like it. I know most of the people prefer like short passing and you know they prefer the receivers to catch. It's just that uh, I like to trick it out, man. I'm a wild thrower. That's why I run some play actions outside. And right here, another touchdown. Chris Ivory with a little touchdown. The reason why I put him in is because I know he's like a power ball. He, he's like throwing down the pins. And Brandon Browner yet again with an under, another interception. Amazing. Brandon Browner with two interceptions now. He's a, he's a hell of a corner, man. As long as they don't burn him that far. And yes, I messed up big time right there. I should have just ran the goddamn ball. I don't understand that. Ah, oh, man. I'm pissed off at myself sometimes. Like, dude, just run the damn ball. You're in the fucking fourth quarter. And that's what got me to mess up here, guys. So, I'm not going to spoil it, but just watch the gameplay. Like, it's because mm, that's what got me pissed off. I'm like, it should have ended right there. It should have. So now this guy's near the goal line. Sack with Brian Robinson, but he misses the sack. And Marcel Darius got him. Uh, the Madi line is doing pretty much alright, but right there, I don't understand why the hell the yellows don't didn't go up. I'm guessing I was playing cover 3 on that one, I'm not pretty sure. 
But yeah, he ended up scoring uh, the two-point conversion also. Ended up in offense. Uh, tw 25 seconds to go. And as I told you guys before, I'm clutch in the last 40 seconds. So watch the freaking drive. D Dwayne Allen opened the right side. This guy's just sending everybody deep. And I'm like, yeah, I keep sending everybody deep. Everybody under is going to be open. And I uh, still have enough time. 10 seconds to go. T.Y. Hilton going across open. And this is my favorite play because I've done it to my brothers before. And the tight end is going to catch a catch that is not completed, but somehow went through. I was like, holy shit, he better not challenge it. But you can't challenge the last five seconds. And I was like, oh, I feel bad for the guy because that's, that's not a complete pass. And uh, right now, yeah, I ended up doing a run the last five seconds. Pathetic, I know. It's a bad coach decision, man. I, I, I don't know. I just think my kicker can't make it over 30, man. I'm afraid. And there was like five seconds to go. So if I were to miss that, there was going to be one second to go and this guy's just going to lob it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to run it down the middle. Hopefully I can get closer. One second to go and kick the field goal. But then it happened. So I ended up going into overtime. Gave me some sacks, D-line. This D-line just clutched it up in the overtime. They really did. Especially Brian Robinson, you know, putting up his reputation. But still, that guy is going to go downhill. Doug Martin with the power run right there. Amazing. Um, another one for Doug Martin down the middle. That's all I did. I mean, I was like, you know what? Power run out of the way. I'm not going to bother passing the damn ball. And uh, another one by Chris Iyer right there. And I believe I passed on this one. Did I? Yeah. This one was the one where it almost, kill almost killed me. Like, look at that. I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm just going to run. <laughs> Screw that. I'm going to trick him out. Gun going out of a uh, freaking zero one one right there. Easy with CJ Spiller. I can't believe CJ Spiller is actually in my third down running back. I thought I had Chris Ivory. But oh well. But he just ran it so that I can run on the time. Last five seconds and I make the field goal because I'm secure in the 20 yard line. <laughs> I don't trust the 30, man. So I ended up winning, guys. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, leave a like and tell me your favorite part. And yes, I do admit I did terrible decisions in the fourth quarter. You can yell at me all you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I need to fix that. I know I need to fix that because I know I can like just end the game early It's just that I need to do better decisions if my running game is working go with the goddamn running game I know most of you guys are gonna be telling me that like your running game is fucking prime Do it do it all the time third down and eight You can still do it with the tricky ass runs that you've seen right now down the middle of the gun Keep on doing it. I know I know I know I know <sighs> You know I can be a great player. It's just that uh, I need to make better decisions in the last uh, clutch seconds but yeah, I was still clutching that last fourth quarter drive, but I just didn't finish it. So anyways, guys, yeah, I'm a little bit pissed off at myself. I mean, I could have ended it. I could have ended it in freaking fourth quarter. Um, so yeah, just if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe more here, Madden All-Stars, or Mr. Joking John 74, wherever you see it. And um, also, if you guys want to learn defense that, you know, that I'm currently using, it's off Shocker 360's um, defensive ebook. He showed it to me. It's amazing. That's why I'm undefeated this year. Like, I couldn't do nothing on defense in season one. Now on season two, I'm doing whatever I, the hell I want. I'm getting picks with Brandon Browner. It's just amazing, man. I, I recommend it. So, subscribe for more, guys. Another game coming up for sure pretty soon. So, I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more.